Om Namaste, everyone. Welcome to another amazing original series yoga class. Always remember to listen to your body. Yoga is not about judgment, competition, or comparison. As much as you're willing to bring your physical energy into this class and give it everything you have, be just as willing to bring your mental energy to this class and let go of everything serving you no purpose. If you're ready, roll out a mat and let's begin. Stan, come to the top of the mat, big toes touching heels close together, but you do not want to grind the ankles together. Roll the shoulders back and relax, breathing in through the nose, a deep breath, pause, exhale through the throat, pushing all the air back out through the throat, making a whispered ha sound. Repeat. Inhale, nice, deep, full lungs, filling the lungs up as deep as possible. Pause and exhale through the throat, making a sound as if you were trying to fog up a mirror. Interlace the fingers, place them underneath the chin, forearms come together. Deep breath in, inhale, slowly the elbows move up, chin stays parallel, pause, exhale through the throat, pushing the chin up, bringing the forearms back together, maybe a slight back bend, and repeat, chin back down, elbows back up. Keep repeating this breath at your own pace. With each inhalation, we are looking forward. With each exhalation, we are exhaling and looking upward. Keep breathing your deepest breath. With each inhalation, fill the lungs up, really energizing the body with all of this extra oxygen. And as you exhale, push all your air out of the lungs with force through the throat, making a whispered ha sound. Keep repeating this breath. Fill the lungs up, nice and full. Don't cheat yourself here. Pause, exhale through the throat, pushing all the air back out. Keep pushing and keep pushing until there's no more air left in the lungs. In yoga, we call this pranayama breathing. I also call this the breath of life. Nice, full, yogic breaths in through the nose and out through the throat. Excellent. On your next exhalation, release the arms back down by the sides. Roll the shoulders back and relax, keeping the heart open, heart is lifted. Hands come together in front of the heart center. Take a moment to set your focus for today's class. Exhale. Hands release. Roll the shoulders back, relax. Breathing in through the nose, deep breath. Exhale through the throat. Sun salutations. Inhale, arms overhead, palms pressing, reaching, heart open, shoulders open, maybe a slight back bend here. And exhale, fold forward, reaching forward, all the way down into our first forward fold. Ragdoll. Give up the head, give up the neck, give up the shoulders, give up the spine. If you cannot touch your toes, it's okay. Remember, no judgment, competition, or comparison. Just allow your spine to decompress here. Keep breathing your deepest breath. Bend the knees, place the hands on the mat, step your right foot up and back into a lunge position, leaving the left knee directly above the left ankle. Inhale, deep breath, crescent lunge, arms come all the way up, reaching for the ceiling, heart open, shoulders open, empowering yourself to be in this moment. Exhale, arms come back behind us, interlace the fingers, stretch the shoulders, open up the heart. You might be able to look gently to the ceiling, opening up the throat. Listen to your body. 
Exhale, hands in front of the heart center. Twisting the spine, bring your right elbow across the left leg. How far you twist is up to you. You can always bring the right knee down, resting on the mat if you need to. Keep listening to your body and practice accordingly. Inhale, hands back in front of the heart center. Both hands come down to the mat. Both hands are to the right side of the left foot. You can stay here or you can lower the body down towards the mat, moving deeper into your left groin and left hip. Keep breathing your deepest breath. And with each exhalation, keep giving up tension and stress in the mind and body. Perfect. Tuck the toes under. The right knee comes back up. Step your left foot back to meet the right. Hands and feet, shoulder width apart, plank position. Also known as a chaturanga. Bring the knees down to the mat if you need to. Either way, inhale, lower the body down. Challenge yourself to hover over the mat if you can. If you cannot hover, it's okay. Just keep practicing to the best of your ability. One more second. Inhale, come back up. Inhale, lower the body back down. Move into an upward facing dog. Release the toes behind you. Arch the spine. Open up the heart. Shoulders back away from the ears. Hands directly underneath the shoulders or maybe even slightly behind the shoulders. Exhale into a downward facing dog. Stretching the legs and the knees back out. Tailbone is reaching for the ceiling. Heels are reaching for the back of the mat. Fingers are engaged. Maybe a little arch in the lower spine here. You can also bend one knee at a time, shifting from hip to hip to try to work out a little bit of the tension that's in the hips and lower back. Inhale, step your right foot forward between the hands, putting us back into another lunge. Inhale, arms come all the way up, reaching for the ceiling into a crescent lunge. Heart open, shoulders open, empowering to be in this moment. Exhale, arms come behind us, interlace the fingers, stretch the shoulders, open up the heart. You might be able to gently look to the ceiling and open up the throat, but always listen to any bodily issue that you may have and respect and honor that issue. Hands come back in front of the heart center. Exhale, twisting the spine, left elbow moves across the right leg. How far you twist is up to you. Just keep listening to your body. And that's how we progress in yoga. Excellent. Inhale, hands back in front of the heart center. Both hands come down to the mat to the left of the foot. Release the left knee. You can stay here or you can begin to lower the body down towards the mat, moving deep into your right hip or right groin. You can always adjust your right foot accordingly to how your body feels in this moment to find that nice sweet spot in this posture. Perfect, tuck the toes under, knee comes up, step your right foot back to meet the left, hands and feet, shoulder width apart, plank position, also known as high plank, Inhale, lower the body down. Challenge yourself to hover over the mat if you can. If you cannot hover, it's okay. Just keep pressing the palms into the mat, building your upper body strength so one day you will be able to hover. Inhale, come back up. Inhale, lower the body back down. Move into an upward facing dog. Release the toes behind you. Arch the spine. Open up the heart. Shoulders back away from the ears. Exhale into a downward facing dog. Stretch the legs and the knees back out. Tailbone reaching for the ceiling. Arch the lower spine. Engaging the fingers into your mat. Engaging the heels. Moving closer and closer to the back of the mat. Again, you can bend one knee at a time, shifting from hip to hip. Experiment with this and every posture. 
to find out what works best for you and your body. Inhale, look forward, walk or jump both feet forward between the hands, putting this back into another forward fold. Ragdoll, give up the head, give up the neck, give up the shoulders, give up the spine. Give up all your stress, all your worry. Give up everything that is serving you no purpose in this moment. You can move a little bit deeper here into this posture by bringing the arms behind you, pulling the upper body into the legs. Excellent. Hands come back together, straight legs, straight arms, straight spine. Reaching for the front, slowly come all the way back up until you're reaching for the ceiling. On your next inhalation, keep reaching. Heart open, shoulders open. One more second, reach. Exhale, arms release. Roll the shoulders back and relax. Breathing in through the nose, deep breath. Exhale through the throat, making a whispered ha sound. Excellent, take a moment, drink some water, towel off if you need to. Half Moon series of postures. Step to the top of the mat, big toes touching, heels close together. Roll the shoulders back and relax. Inhale, deep breath, arms overhead, palms press. Interlace your fingers, releasing the index finger facing up towards the ceiling. Heart open, shoulders open. Tuck your tailbone under slightly. Begin to rock from side to side pushing at the hip, back and forth, opening up your heart, your shoulders, your rib cage, back and forth. Nice and easy, nice little warm up here. Exhale, back to the center. Tuck the tailbone under slightly. Push your hips to the left, curving the body up and over to the right. Keep pushing the hips to the left, reaching up and over to the right. A little bit more. Heart is open, shoulders are open, arms are as straight as possible. Nice tight grip with the hands, heels are planted, chin is lifted parallel to the mat. Exhale back to the center. Tuck the tailbone under slightly, push your hips to the right, curve the body up and over to the left. Keep pushing more and more the hips to the right, curving the body up and over to the left. Heart open, shoulders open, chin lifted, heels are planted, arms are reaching as straight as possible. One more second, go into your maximum stretch. Inhale, back to the center. Gently look up across your fingertips. Relax the shoulders and relax the neck. Be careful of any neck issue that you may have here. Deep breath in, inhale, reaching up, arch the spine into a back bend. How far back you go is up to you. Keep breathing your deepest breath. Up and back. One more second, a little bit more, a little bit more. Exhale, fold forward, reaching forward. Flat back, all the way back down into another forward fold, ragdoll. Give up the head, give up the neck, give up the shoulders, give up the spine. Give up all your stress and worry decompressing your body and letting go of tension that is serving you no purpose is an amazing practice to begin. Hands to feet pose. Bend your knees, placing the fingers underneath the toes, or perhaps you can place the entire hand up underneath the front of the foot. As an alternative, you can also bring the hands behind you, placing them up underneath the heels allowing the little fingers of each hand to touch parallel. Your first challenge is to bring the heart into the legs, compressing the upper body into the lower body. Second challenge is to straighten your legs back out if you can. If you cannot straighten your legs all the way back out, it is okay, it is more than okay. You have not come to this place in your life to judge yourself or to allow yourself to be judged by others. Go into your maximum stretch. Exhale, release the hands. Hands come back together. Straight legs, straight spine, 
straight arms, reaching for the front, flat back, slowly come all the way back up until you're reaching for the ceiling. On your next inhalation, reach another inch, elongate the spine, open the heart, open the shoulders, exhale, perfect, release, roll the shoulders back, relax, breathing in through the nose, deep breath, exhale through the throat, making a whispered ha sound. Step to the top of the mat, turn to face the right side of the mat for our warrior series of postures. Inhale, arms overhead, palms press. Take a big step out to the right, about four foot distance. Arms come down parallel to the mat, reaching in opposite directions. Pull your abdomen in, lifting the chest up, putting a small arch in the lower spine. I call this an exaggerated superhero stance, really lifting and puffing that chest up and out. Pivot your right foot to the back of the mat, bend the right knee, and slowly sit into a warrior two. Spine is upright, abdomen in, chest is lifted, arms reaching in opposite directions. Reverse warrior. Left hand comes down to the left leg or to the lower spine, right arm reaches for the ceiling. Heart is open, shoulder open. Keep breathing your deepest breath. Exhale into a warrior two. Sit a little bit deeper. Look back across your left fingertips. Palms flip up to face the ceiling. Windmill the arms into a bent knee triangle pose. Right hand reaches for the mat, left hand reaches for the ceiling. Stack the shoulders, open up the heart, and keep breathing your deepest breath. Inhale, slowly come back up, set a little bit deeper into your warrior two. Strong body, strong mind. Straighten your right leg, toes pivot back to the center, Left foot pivots to the front, bend the left knee, slowly sit into another warrior two. Abdomen in, chest is lifted, arms reaching in opposite directions. Reverse warrior, right hand to the right leg. Inhale, left arm is reaching for the ceiling. Heart open, shoulders are open. Strong body, strong mind. This is your life, your breath, your energy. Exhale into a warrior two. Sit a little bit deeper. Look back across your right fingertips. Palms flip up to face the ceiling. Windmill the arms into a bent knee triangle. Left hand reaches for the mat. Right hand reaches for the ceiling. Stack the shoulders, open up the heart, and breathe your deepest breath. Excellent. Inhale, slowly come back up. Sit a little bit deeper into your warrior two. Straighten your left leg, toes pivot back to the center, hands rest on the hips. Wide stance, forward fold. Inhale, arch the spine, open the heart, gently looking up to the ceiling into a back bend. Exhale, flat back, leading with the heart, fold forward, bringing your hands all the way down to the mat in front of you. Your first challenge is to widen your stance outward whatever feels comfortable to you. Your second challenge is to reach the hands out to the ankles or the outer edges of the feet, pulling the top of the head down towards the mat. Remember, no judgment, no competition, no comparison. Instead of focusing on what you cannot do in each and every posture, focus on what you are doing. Excellent. Bend the knees, hands come up just above the knees, torso comes up halfway. Arms come behind us, interlace the fingers, stretch the shoulders, open up the heart. Exhale, fold forward. Try to straighten your legs and arms back out if you can. Always listen to your body and practice to the best of your ability. Yoga is not a pill, it is a practice. And in this practice, if we listen to our body, this is how we progress. Release. Hands come just above the knees, torso comes up halfway. Hands to the hips, torso.
torso comes up all the way as we shorten our stance a few inches. Pivot your right foot to the back of the mat. Pick your left foot up off the mat, shifting it towards the back of the mat at a 45 degree angle. Hips and shoulders are perfectly square with the back of the mat. Revolving triangle. Right hand on the right hip. Inhale, left arm is reaching for the ceiling. Slight back bend, heart open. Exhale, fold forward, reaching forward. Bring your left hand all the way down to the mat, somewhere near your right foot. You can also place it on the shin or a yoga block. Rotate your right shoulder towards the ceiling. Twist your spine towards the ceiling. Right arm is reaching for the ceiling. Stack the shoulders, open up the heart, and keep breathing your deepest breath. Both hands come back to the mat. Before you move one single vertebrae, both hands come to the hips. Flat back, inhale, slowly come back up. Pivot to the center. Pivot to the front of the mat. Hips and shoulders perfectly square. Right foot at a 45 degree angle. Left hand on the left hip. Inhale, right arm reaching, slight back bend, heart open. Exhale, fold forward, reaching forward, bringing the right hand all the way down to the mat, somewhere near your left foot or the shin, or you could use a yoga block. Rotate your left shoulder towards the ceiling. Twist the spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, left arm is reaching for the ceiling. Stack the shoulders, open up the heart, and continue to breathe your deepest breath. One more second. Perfect. Exhale. Both hands come back down to the mat. Before you come up, both hands to the hips. Inhale, flat back, slowly come back up. Pivot to the center. Pivot, hips and shoulders perfectly square with the back of the mat. Three lox pose, also known as the three bandhas. Inhale, arms overhead, palms pressed. Interlace your fingers, release the index finger facing up. Reaching for the ceiling, bring your pelvic floor muscle up into the body and hold it there, also known as a Kegel. Abdomen comes into the body, hold it there. Chin moves down to the chest, hold it there. Holding these three locks, exhale, roll the spine out across your right leg. Keep breathing your deepest breath. We are not holding the breath here. Keep holding these three locks inward and upward into the body. If you lose one, it's okay. Simply pull it back in and up. Inhale, hold these three locks, roll the spine all the way back up. It's not until the arms are fully reaching for the ceiling that we first release the pelvic floor, then the abdomen, then the chin from the chest. Pivot to the center. Pivot to the front. Hips and shoulders perfectly square with the front of the mat. Arms reaching. Pelvic floor up, abdomen in, chin to the chest. Exhale, roll the spine out across the left leg. Don't hold the breath here. Keep breathing, keep challenging, keep listening, keep loving your body just as it is. Hold those three locks, inhale, roll the spine all the way back up. Once the arms are reaching for the ceiling, that's when you release the pelvic floor, abdomen, and chin. Pivot to the center. Hands, release down to the hips. One more time, pivot. Hips and shoulders perfectly square with the back of the mat. Intense side stretch. Arms come behind us, reaching for opposite elbows, or you can place your hands into a reverse prayer with the fingers facing up. Keep your right leg straight, deep breath in, inhale, slight back bend, heart open, exhale, flat back, fold forward directly across your right leg, bringing the forehead out beyond the toes. Keep breathing your deepest breath. A little bit more, a little bit more. Inhale, slowly, come back up. Flat back, pivot to the center, pivot 
to the front, hips and shoulders perfectly square with the front of the mat. Inhale, slight back bend, heart open, and exhale. Flat back, leading with the heart, fold forward directly across the left leg. Keep breathing your deepest breath. And with each exhalation, let go of bodily tension that is not necessary to keep you in this pose. Excellent. Inhale, slowly, come back up. Step your right foot forward to meet the left, arms release. Inhale, arms overhead, palms press, reaching, heart open, shoulders open. Exhale, release, roll the shoulders back. Relax, breathing in through the nose, deep breath. Exhale through the throat, making a whispered ha sound. Take another moment, drink some water, and towel off. Step to the middle of the mat for our chair series of postures. Separate the feet about hip distance apart or about six inches apart. You can always place two fists together and place them between the feet to know the correct distance. But as always, experiment and find what works best for you. Arms come out in front, nice and strong. Abdomen in, chest is lifted. Inhale. Sit back into an imaginary chair. How far down you sit is up to you. Weight of the body is on the heels as the toes are able to move freely. Keep breathing your deepest breath. As you sit deeper, you are also sitting more upright as if your spine is sitting back into that imaginary chair. Two more seconds. Inhale, deep breath. Slowly come all the way back up, all the way up onto the toes as we inhale the arms up and out into our victory pose. For all the things you've moved beyond in this life, you stand in this victory pose, reminding yourself that nobody has to validate your victories in this life. Your own personal acknowledgement is validation enough. Excellent. Arms stay up, heels come back down for eagle pose. Right arm comes down underneath the left. Elbows bend together, palms come together. Or you can reach for opposite shoulders. Sit back into an imaginary chair, bringing the right leg up and over the left, bringing your right foot back behind the left calf muscle if you are able. If not, it's okay. Remember, no judgment, no competition, no comparison. Sit a little bit deeper. Sit a little bit more upright. Keep breathing your deepest breath. One more second. Exhale, release. Arms come back up. Nice strong V. Left side. Left arm moves underneath the right. Elbows bend. Palms come together. Sit back into your imaginary chair, bringing the left leg up and over the right, tucking the toes back behind the calf if you are able. Once we move beyond judgment, competition, and comparison, that's where we find that yoga really begins to work for both our mind and body. Exhale, release. Arms come back up, nice strong V, heart open, shoulders open. Exhale, arms release, roll the shoulders back, relax, breathing in through the nose, deep breath. Exhale through the throat, making a whispered ha sound. Excellent. Standing, balancing poses. Come to the middle of the mat, hands to the hips, big toe pose. Bend your right knee, 90 degree angle, toes flex up towards the ceiling. Take the first two fingers of the right hand and interlace them around the right big toe. You can stay right here. This is an excellent posture. Or you can straighten the right leg out in front. You can stay here, perfect posture. Or you can swing the right leg out to the right side of the room, revolving the hip out, abdomen in, chest is lifted. Keep breathing your deepest breath.
Exhale, slowly, release. Hands to the hips. Left side, bend your left knee, 90 degree angle, toes flex up towards the face. Take the first two fingers of the left hand, interlace them around the left big toe. You can stay here or you can straighten the left leg out in front. You can stay here or you can swing the left leg out to the left side of the room, opening up the left hip. Abdomen in, chest is lifted. Keep breathing your deepest breath one more second. Exhale, release. Shake it off. Roll the shoulders back. Relax. Breathing in through the nose. Deep breath. Fill the lungs up. Exhale through the throat. Standing forehead to knee pose. Hands to the hips. Bend your right knee. 90 degree angle. Toes flex up towards the face. You can stay here. Or this time you can interlace the fingers around the right knee. Roll the shoulders back. Open up the heart. You can stay here or interlace your fingers underneath the right foot. You can also stay here or straighten the right leg out in front. If there's a bend in your knee, it's okay. We're not focused on what we cannot do. We are focused on what we can do. Lock out your left leg or put a slight bend in the left knee. Either way, firmly engage your quadricep to protect the knee. Lock out your right leg or keep a slight bend in the knee. Either way, firmly engage your quadricep. Eventually bring your forehead down to meet the leg. Keep breathing your deepest breath. And if you fall out of a posture, it's okay. Simply just get right back in it. Excellent. Exhale. Release. Hands to the hips. Left side, bend your left knee, 90 degree angle, toes flex up towards the face, hands to the hips. You can stay here or interlace the fingers around the left knee, roll the shoulders back, open the heart. You can stay here or interlace the fingers underneath the left foot, curving the spine down to meet the leg. You can stay here or straighten the left leg out in front. Keep breathing your deepest breath. Experiment with this and every posture to find what it is your body needs in this moment in this class. Always remember yoga is not about pain, but it is about challenge. So keep challenging yourself to move a little bit deeper and keep challenging yourself to let go of tension, stress, and worry. Eventually, you can bring the forehead down towards the leg Listen to your body. If you lose balance, it's okay. It's all a part of a yoga practice. Exhale, release, roll the shoulders back, relax, breathing in through the nose, deep breath. Exhale through the throat. Excellent. Shake it off. Dancer's pose. Middle of the mat, right elbow to the right hip. Right palm faces up towards the ceiling. Left arm is reaching for the ceiling. Curl the right leg behind you, gripping the ankle or the foot from the inside. You can stay here or simply float the body forward, reaching forward, extending the right leg up towards the ceiling. Heart open, right shoulder open. Keep listening, keep challenging yourself. Keep breathing your deepest breath. Exhale, release. Left elbow, left hip, right arm reaching. Curl the left leg behind you. Grip the ankle or the foot from the inside. You can stay here. This is a perfect posture. Or you can float the body forward, reaching forward, extending the left leg up towards the ceiling. Open the heart. Open the shoulder, a little bit more, a little bit more. Don't be afraid of losing your balance. It's all a part of a yoga practice. Just simply get back into the posture and practice to the best of your ability. Exhale, release. 
Shake it off. Roll the shoulders back. Relax. Step to the back of your mat, facing forward for warrior three. Inhale, arms overhead, palms press. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger. Small step forward with the right foot, come up onto the left toes. Arch the spine, open up the heart, reaching. You can stay here or exhale. Float the body forward, reaching forward as the left leg comes up off of the mat, parallel to the mat. Keep your hips parallel to the mat. In this pose, there's a tendency to lift that left hip up towards the ceiling. Keep your hips aligned, parallel to the mat. Inhale, slowly come back up. Keep the arms right where they are. Small step forward with the left foot. Come up onto the right toes. Arch the spine, open up the heart. You can stay here or float the body forward, reaching forward as the right leg comes up off the mat, parallel to the mat. Try to keep your hips parallel to the mat. In this posture, there's a tendency for the right hip to come up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing your deepest breath and inhale slowly. Come back up, arms reaching for the ceiling, heart open, shoulders open. Excellent. Exhale, release. Roll the shoulders back. Relax. Breathing in through the nose. Deep breath and exhale through the throat. Stepping to the back of the mat, inhale, arms overhead, palms press. Exhale, hands back in front of the heart center. Inhale, slowly move all the way in to a full squat. If you have some sort of knee or back issue, listen to your issue. Palms pressing, elbows inside the knees, weight of the body is on the heels. You can stay here in this modified garland pose, or you can place the hands on the mat, pivot the body up onto the elbows as you move into a crane or a crow pose. You may also feel free here to move into a scorpion or a headstand. Always remember to be careful, listen to your body, and practice to the best of your ability, leaving the rest behind. Excellent, everybody, exhale, release. Turn over onto your spine for our first rest pose. Feel free to drink water or towel off on your way over. Sixty second rest pose. Give up, relax, release. In this moment, there are no bills to pay. There are no relationships to fix. There are no jobs to find or jobs to be promoted at. In this moment, you are here in your own energy, breathing your deepest breath, listening and being aware of what exists in this moment. Learning to let go of everything that's serving you no purpose is just as much a part of a yoga practice as these physical postures. Butterfly pose. Bend both knees, both feet flat on the mat. Feet are together. Inhale. Allow the knees to move outwards to the outsides of the mat as the soles of the feet come back together. Breathing in through the hips. And with each exhalation, just simply relaxing, releasing any tension in the hips or lower spine. Perfect. Inhale, knees back together, both legs straight out in front. When removing pose, bend your right knee, bringing it up into the chest. 
Interlace the fingers around the right knee, pull it deeper in towards the chest or slightly out towards the right shoulder. Left leg is as straight as possible. All toes flex back towards the face. Keep breathing your deepest breath and on each exhalation, pull the knee in just a little bit more. Exhale, release, switching sides. Bend the left knee, bring the knee up into the chest, interlace the fingers around the left knee, pull the knee into the chest or out towards the left shoulder. Right leg is as straight as possible. All toes flex back towards the face and keep breathing your deepest breath. Excellent. Exhale, release both legs out in front. Bend both knees, bring both knees up into the chest. You can either bear hug the legs, pulling both knees into the chest, or you can place the hands on the knees, pulling the knees out towards the shoulders. Always feel free to experiment in yoga. That's how you find exactly what your body is needing in this moment. Excellent, exhale. Both legs straight up towards the ceiling, legs together. Flex the toes back towards the face. Engage the abdomen. You can stay here or you can move into a shoulder stand or a plow pose. Always be careful of any spine or neck injury in this pose. Just keep listening to your body, connecting your awareness in this moment to what your body needs in this moment. Simultaneously, we challenge ourselves to move a little bit deeper, a little bit further in each posture. Exhale. Everybody, slowly lower the heels down towards the mat, hovering the heels over the mat if you can. Really engage your abdomen. Keep breathing your deepest breath. One more second. Exhale, release, complete relaxation. Reclining twist. Bend your right knee, foot flat on the mat. Exhale, fold the right leg across the torso, twisting the spine. Bring your right arm back across to the right side of the room, looking across the right fingertips, completing the twist. With each exhalation, challenge yourself to twist just a little bit deeper. Inhale, back to the center, switching sides. Right leg straight, bend the left knee, foot flat on the mat. Exhale, fold the left leg across the torso, twisting the spine, bringing the left arm back across to the left side of the room, looking across the left fingertips, completing the twist. With each exhalation, challenge yourself to let go and twist just a little bit deeper. Perfect, inhale back to the center. Bend both knees, both feet flat on the mat, foot to knee pose. Bring your right foot up and lay it across the left knee. Interlace the fingers around the left knee by bringing the right arm between the legs. Pull the knee in towards the chest, opening up your right hip. If you need an extra challenge, you can bring the forehead up towards the knee. If you need a further challenge, you can straighten the left leg, readjust your grip to the ankles or the calf, bringing the straight left leg back towards the mat behind you into a one-legged plow pose. Exhale, release, switching sides. Left foot lays across the right knee. Interlace the fingers around the right knee pulling the knee in towards the chest. If you need an extra challenge, you can bring the forehead up towards the knee. If you need a further challenge, you can straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling, readjust your grip to the ankle or the calf, and bring the straight right leg back towards the mat behind you into a one-legged plow pose. Wherever you are in this posture, is exactly where you're supposed to be. Remember, no judgment, no competition, no comparison. Exhale, release. Both knees bent, both feet flat on the mat. If you know what a wheel pose is, you can move into that now. 
or you can move into a bridge pose by bringing the heels towards the glutes, lifting the hips up off the mat, pressing them up towards the ceiling, engaging the glute muscles. Keep breathing your deepest breath. We are creating a bridge from the knees down through the shoulders. Keep lifting the glutes and the hips up towards the ceiling. You can also alternate lifting one leg at a time up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing your deepest breath. This is why I always say yoga is for everybody because when you listen to your body, yoga meets you right where you are. Exhale, release. Both knees bent, both feet flat on the mat. Sit up and boat pose. Arms reaching overhead, interlace the fingers. Inhale, deep breath, move into a sit up position, extending the legs up and out into a boat pose. Engaging the abdomen, keep breathing your deepest breath. We are not holding the breath, but we are breathing these nice deep breaths into the body. Slowly come all the way up. Exhale into a seated forward fold. Excellent. Turn over onto your abdomen, facing the front of the mat for our Cobra series of postures. Feel free to take a drink of water on your way over. Hands underneath the shoulders, elbows tucked into the ribs, legs are straight. Inhale, deep breath, chest but only the chest comes up off of the mat. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Keep breathing your deepest breath. Keep your toes and feet on the mat. Only the chest is lifted. Arch the lower spine. Keep breathing. Come up a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Exhale, release, back to the mat. Arms beside us, palms facing the mat. Full locust pose. Arms beside us, palms facing the mat, legs together. Deep breath in. This time, the entire torso comes up off of the mat. Knees and feet come up off of the mat. Arms reaching for the back of the mat. Heart open, shoulders open. Tight glutes keep coming up. Keep breathing, keep challenging, listening, loving your body just as it is. One more second, come up, slowly, exhale, release. Floor bow pose. Bend both knees, both feet move up towards the ceiling. Hands come behind you, gripping the ankles or the feet. On your next inhalation, deep breath in, the entire torso comes up. Knees and feet come up, arch the spine, open the heart, shoulders open, breathing, challenging, listening, loving your body just as it is. Is not that a victory in itself? Of course it is. Exhale, release. Push up and back into a child's pose. In a child's pose, the knees can be together or the knees can be apart. Arms can be out front or they can be beside us. A child's pose is a very powerful, restorative posture to continue to give up and to let go of everything serving you no purpose. Inhale, slowly come up onto the hands and knees as we practice a couple of rounds of cat-cow pose. On your inhalation, Arch the spine, open the heart, gently looking up to the ceiling. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, chin to the chest. Inhale, arch the spine, open the heart, look gently up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, chin to the chest. And back to neutral. Walk your knees up towards the top of the mat. Sit back into a kneeling position. Shoulders relaxed and back. Camel pose. Come up onto the knees. Knees are separated about hip distance apart. Hands come behind us supporting the lower back. Inhale, deep breath, arch the spine, open the heart, gently looking up and moving into a back bend. 
How far back you bend is up to you. Hands reach for the heels as you open up into a full camel pose. If your hands won't quite reach the heels today, it's okay. Always remember, no judgment, no competition, no comparison. Heart open, shoulders open, throat open. Go into your maximum stretch. Support the lower spine. Inhale. Come back up. Knees together, feet together. Sitting back into a kneeling pose. Rabbit pose. Hands come behind us, gripping the heels. You can also use a strap or a towel. Chin to the chest. Roll the spine down, bringing the forehead into the knees. Keep breathing your deepest breath. And with each exhalation, use the strength of your arms to bring the forehead deeper and deeper towards the knees. We all have different bodies, so our bodies are going to perform differently in each and every posture than somebody else. And that's okay. Inhale slowly, release, come back up. Separate your heels wide enough to sit your glutes between the heels. Either your knees can be together or they can also be apart. If you have a knee issue, you can always use a block or avoid this posture altogether. If not, you can recline onto the hands, elbows, or spine. Keep breathing your deepest breath. Keep letting go all the things in your life that serve you no purpose. Perhaps the time has come for you to clean house, both mentally and physically, and to wake up to who you really are in this life. Inhale, support the body slowly. Come back up, move into a downward facing dog, stretching the legs and the knees back out, tailbone reaching for the ceiling, pigeon pose. Right leg reaches up towards the ceiling. Fold the right leg up underneath the torso. Lay it sideways across the mat. Left leg reaches for the back of the mat. Square off the hips, sit up straight, open the heart, and exhale. Flat back, fold forward across your right leg. As we are breathing our deepest breath here, with each exhalation, simply relax and let go of the tension in your right hip. In yoga, it is counterproductive to try to force a muscle or a body part to open up when it's not ready. How we build trust with our own body is by listening to the body challenging it to move outside of its comfort zone while simultaneously finding that nice sweet spot. Exhale. Release into a downward facing dog. Left leg reaches for the ceiling. Fold the left leg underneath the torso. Lay it sideways across the mat. Right leg is reaching for the back of the mat. Square off the hips. Sit up straight. Heart is open. Exhale. Slowly fold forward across the left leg. And as we continue to breathe our deepest breath, we continue to be here in this moment while simultaneously we are exhaling all of our stress, our worry, our tension, and all the things in our life serving us no purpose. Wonderful. Exhale into a downward facing dog. One more time. Stretch it all out. Bring your knees back down to the mat. Turn over onto your spine as we are moving into our final rest pose for today's class. Feel free to take a drink of water on your way over. Relax, release. Nothing to do, nothing to be. This moment is about you in your own space and your own energy. Not thinking about the past 
or the future, but you are in your heart space. You're just flowing, breathing, relaxing, enjoying this moment for what it really is. Take a moment and just scan the body. Do you find any tension? If you do, simply breathe into that tension. And on your exhalation, simply let it go. This is your life, your energy, your breath. Notice how much deeper your breath is now, naturally, than when you began this class. As we have spent this hour practicing this deep breathing, we have already created a habit so that subconsciously and naturally, we have returned our breath to its natural, original, deep state. Enjoy this moment of just watching the breath move into the lungs like the waves of an ocean, rolling in and exhaling, rolling back out to the universe. Let's take just another moment of silence to just be in our own energy and our own spaciousness. Whenever you're ready, move the fingers and toes, waking the body back up. And whenever you're ready, roll over to your right side into a fetal position, further wakening the body. Whenever you're ready, Inhale, move into a seated position, whatever is comfortable for you. Thank you for joining me today. As we move forward from our class, may our thoughts be pure, may our speech be pure, and may our intentions be pure. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today for another amazing class. Like and subscribe, and feel free to comment below. We would love to hear from you. Where you're from, what's your favorite class? For more videos, shop, or to support our work, visit us at Bear Yogi's. Dot com. See you next time.